in this test tube, I have hydrogen peroxide that I got out of this container. It says 3% weight by volume, which means there's three grams of hydrogen peroxide in every 100 milliliters of solution. Now, hydrogen peroxide does expire. That's because H2O2 will break apart on its own to become liquid water and oxygen gas. Now, there's no bubbles in here because that process is actually very slow at room temperature. But there's a couple ways you can speed it up. Both of those ways involve using catalysts. Now, I, I have here a, one of those things that you put contact lenses into when you're trying to clean the oils off of your contact lenses. Now, I don't wear contacts, but I know someone who does. They put their contacts in here. The hydrogen peroxide ends up breaking apart on this little metal piece at the bottom. That gas bubbles out, and apparently that helps to clean the contact lenses themselves. Let's pour a little uh, hydrogen peroxide into here and see if we can get it reacting. Just going to take the lid off of that. I'm going to have to pour some hydrogen peroxide into the plastic. And then I'm going to resubmerge that piece of metal. Now, if we zoom in here, you might be able to see some bubbles coming off of it. Well, it, yeah, they're very tiny bubbles right now. Perhaps my hydrogen peroxide is already close to expired. Or maybe we just need to build up a little bit of oxygen gas before the bubbles start rising. You can clearly see bubbles forming, though. I'm not here to lie to you. Now this process of breaking the hydrogen peroxide apart and it cleaning the contact lens goes all night long. I mean, I'm sure the hydrogen peroxide runs out eventually, but it's kind of a slow process still. Now I believe the metal that's doing this catalysis is platinum. Oh, here come the bubbles. You can really see them growing and growing. They're not rising yet. Perhaps they're not big enough to be buoyant enough to break off of the metal themselves. Oh, there it goes. There goes one of them. Oh, my eyes feel cleaner just watching it. How about yours? Now I can let that continue. Do you wish there was another catalyst that made it work even faster? Well, there is. That catalyst is called manganese dioxide, MnO2. It's a black solid that I had to order. I believe I got it from China. This is not an endorsement of China, the country. If you add it to hydrogen peroxide, it will help break apart the H2O2 just as quickly. I've already measured some here because I'm holding my phone in my hand. And I'm going to dump it into this test tube. Oh. oh yeah, look at that. You can see and hear it bubbling. Now it's a powder, so it's kind of floating on top. Let me just shake that up. We've got little tiny bubbles forming in there. Looks like a dangerous reaction, but I do assure you, it's just liquid water and oxygen gas that's forming in there. Oh, you can definitely see the bubbles forming there. Now this is proceeding faster, mostly because the manganese dioxide is powdered. That increases surface area. And surface area is one of the ways you can speed up or help control the rate of a reaction. Wow, it's really going there. Let's check in on our contact lens metal. Oh yeah, look at the bubbles. They're certainly forming and rising a little faster than they had been. Probably just needed some time to build up the size of bubble that is required to float out of the solution. So there you have it, hydrogen peroxide decomposing into water and oxygen gas, both on its own, which does proceed on its own, despite the fact that we weren't able to watch that happen, being catalyzed by this metal from a contact lens container. I believe it's platinum, but don't quote me. And with powdered manganese dioxide, which is really going to town here. Mmm, that's satisfying. Well, thanks for being with me for this quick little lesson, and uh, best of luck.